back to the good times. You're watching Granada Plus. Brochure. So have you decided on something then? Yeah, I've decided I won't do anything. Oh, Ashley, it's only one night a week. Look, why do you do the yoga? No, I inquired about yoga last year, didn't I? And they said you can't learn the lotus position until you've got a marriage certificate. Mm. And seeing as you don't want one... Oh, no, of course. Well, there's nothing worse than yoga before marriage. Why do you do pottery then? No, you need a wheel for that. So take one off the car. <laughs> you have to take the clamp off it first. Oh, there must be something in there that interests you. Oh, yeah, there was something. Ah, here we are, yeah. Nuclear power for the DIY enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, assemble a reactor in your own shed with handy hints on meltdown. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look at it. Japanese flower arranging, light-hearted Latin, Polish is fun. Now, who in their right minds can honestly believe that Polish is fun? So difficult, they can't even speak it in Poland. I'm not just picking out the worst ones. There's some good classes here. What are you going to do, then? This one. Painting and life drawing. Painting? Yeah, I used to quite enjoy painting at school. In fact, I got A-level art. I never knew that. Well, you don't know everything about me, Ashley. I know where your dimple is. Well, so I know where your birthmark is and what it looks like. Uh, yeah, but you won't tell anyone. Eh, it all depends. Oh, come on, try something. You'll enjoy it once you get started. Well, it's got to be better than sitting glued to the television watching Postman Pat. <laughs> I was not watching Postman Pat. Yes, you were. Not only were you watching it, when his little van broke down, you cried. <laughs> it was sad. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Oh, hang on. Photography? Yeah, I'd do that. You're not interested in photography, are you? Yeah, I used to be quite good at it. I used to develop my own print. Oh, you'll need a dark room if you're going to do your own developing. Oh, I use the cupboard under the stairs. Ashley, we live in a basement. We haven't got any stairs. <laughs> so we're built on. Do you do any courses in carpentry? <laughs> Ashley? Ashley, how much longer are you going to be in there? Only a little while. I'm still developing. Developing what? <laughs> Grey hairs and wrinkles? No, oh, won't be a minute. Ashley, you said that an hour ago. I'd like to use the bathroom. Yeah, well, I can't open the door yet. It'll let the light in. Ashley, matters are getting serious out here. <laughs> the the bathroom has taken on a sense of urgency. Well, couldn't you pop down to the bus depot and use the one down there? <laughs> no, I could not pop down to the bus depot. And I want to have a shower. Well, why don't you use the kitchen sink? <laughs> I'm not a plate. Oh, Ashley, you'll have to use somewhere else for a dark room. This is ridiculous. Can't you use the broom cupboard out here? Well, there's no running water out there. Yeah, well, there will be soon. <laughs> ah, right, hang on. I've just got to put it in the fixer. Now, right, I've just got to get the... Oh, damn! What? I'll drop the film down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right. If you're any sort of a gentleman, you'd have put the lid down anyway. It's all right, I've got it. Ashley, my kidneys are packing up. Yeah, all right, I'll just cover the tray. You wouldn't like to go back to watching television, would you, Ashley? No, yeah, I'm enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I haven't had so much fun since the inter-schools five-a-side knicker wetting competition. <laughs> well, I'm glad I did that evening class now. It's good to do something to get you out of the house. Yes, but what's it take to get you out of the bathroom? Ashley, I went to go to bed and have a shower. Would you rather I took the car down to the car wash and went through with the windows open? Do you need any money for a token? <laughs> Ashley, come out of there now. Come on. Oh, 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 damn. Did you want something? What? My brain. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's still life. That's not bad at all. Take some really good photographs here, Ashley. I'm impressed. Obviously, your time in the toilet was not entirely wasted. <laughs> well, time in the toilet is never entirely wasted. Oh, there's another good one here. God, you could practically eat that cheese. We did. We had it for lunch. 
Oh, I meant to ask you, we've got a new project this week. I wondered if you'd sit for me. Should only take an hour or so. Yeah, sure, I don't mind. As long as I can scratch my nose when it gets itchy. <laughs> what is it, a formal portrait? What do you want me to wear? Oh, nothing in particular. In fact, I don't really want you to wear anything at all. Oh. Um. <laughs> What, nothing? It's a nude study. <laughs> Naked. Stalkers. With no clothes on. Well, yes, that's what nude usually means, doesn't it? But Elaine, I mean... What? I used to be an altar boy. <laughs> so? Did you take a vow never to take your clothes off, then? Yeah, but you know. <laughs> Mr. Rude. <laughs> oh, Ashley, what have you got to be ashamed of? It's not as if you've got three bums or something, is it? <laughs> it won't be anything I haven't seen before, unless you've been out shopping. <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of other people haven't seen before. No one else is going to see it. Only the class tutor, and she's a middle-aged woman with three grown-up sons. I'm sure she's seen bigger and better at home. <laughs> but I thought you meant a portrait of my face. Well, so why is it all right for me to sketch your face and not the rest of you? Well, it's the only bit that smiles. <laughs> you underestimate yourself. <laughs> all right, then, never mind. If you don't want to do it, I can always ask someone else. Who? Who else? You can't go sketching other men's bits. <laughs> Ashley, if you're not prepared to do it, I think I'm perfectly entitled to ask someone else. I don't see why my drawing practice should suffer because of your prudery. No, it's not prudery, it's modesty. Well, uh, I'll have to think about it. I mean, would you do it first? Standing there, starkers, with the buttons popping off your birthday suit. They were asking me to, though, Ash, are they? Yeah, but if they did... Well, it depends, doesn't it? I mean, if I had muscles like Rambo, I might consider it, but with a physique like yours... Or... <laughs> yeah? Well, it needs a bit of thinking about. Well, thanks very much. You certainly know how to boost a chap's confidence. There are some things, Ashley, that a man has to do for himself. How does she want you to, uh... Disport yourself. Reclining on the sofa. In repose. Well, with a bunch of grapes. Not if I can help it. <laughs> oh, well, that's something, isn't it? I mean, it isn't as if she's asking you to stand on one leg and wrestle with a stuffed lion. Oh, I'm in two minds, so I don't know. I mean, me, an artist model. Seriously, Purse, put yourself in my shoes. You're not going to be wearing any, though, are you? <laughs> in my position, then. Whatever that may be. <laughs> Would you take your clothes off for a woman? <laughs> That's not a serious question, is it, Ash? <laughs> no, but would you? No, oh, no, never. 35 years I was married to your grandmother. I kept me overcoat on the whole time. <laughs> well, I don't know what she wants a male model for anyway. We've got a pop-up medical dictionary. It's all in there. So, you don't want to do it, then? Well, I'm not very keen. It's drafty in that flat. <laughs> and the cat's inclined to jump up at you. <laughs> well, you'll always get someone from the job centre. I mean, after all, it's all work for the unemployed, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's not so funny. She says if I won't do it, she'll ask someone else. Oh, well, it's an honour in a way, though, isn't it, Ash? I mean, didn't everyone gets asked to take their clothes off? Most of us are told to put ours on again. <laughs> you might become immortal. Yeah, I might catch pneumonia. Well, if you want my advice, Ashley... Yeah? I think you're going to have to get used to the draft. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Won't be a minute. You've been in there half an hour getting undressed. What are you doing, taking your skin off? Won't be a minute. It's nothing I haven't seen before. Yes, I know, I know. So what are you doing, having it redecorated? <laughs> right, ready then. Oh, at last. <laughs> <laughs> what do 
Where do you want me? <laughs> Ashley, without the overcoat. Oh, come on, Elaine. I've got goose pimples. <laughs> well, can we have the fan heater on first? The what heater? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> there. when you are. <laughs> you warm now? Thawing out. I haven't got frostbite on anything, that's all. <laughs> right. There. What do you think? Hey, Elaine, that is really good. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a really good likeness. No, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Well, that's not right, is it? What's wrong with it? Well, it's not that size. <laughs> yes, it is. It isn't. Well, what size do you think it is? Well, it's bigger than that. <laughs> It is from where I stand. <laughs> well, it's not from where I see it. It's a matter of perspective. You see it from a different angle. <laughs> Don't you like it, then? What? No, yes, yeah, it's, it's good. It's... I've got a lot of ribs, haven't I? <laughs> I look like a cage. It's a realistic portrait. You didn't want me to glamorise it, did you? It's you. Warts and all. Yeah, warts and birthmarks and all. Oh, I don't want to leave that out. It's not everyone who's got a birthmark shape like that. You were a good model, though, Ashley. Almost as good as the cheese. <laughs> I think it's the best thing I've done. I'm sure they'll accept it. Well, yeah. <laughs> accept it for what? The end of term exhibition. Exhibition? <laughs> Unbridled power. Doyle. We just had to come here when we saw it, didn't we, Colin? Yes, dear. <laughs> I was mortified, Ashley. Mortified. Well, shame wasn't in it. I mean, to think of a son of mine flaunting his bits in public. <laughs> Hanging up there in the technical college like a one-man anatomy lesson. <laughs> I almost swooned, didn't I, Colin? Yes, dear. <laughs> and the neighbours have been round there having a look. Oh, you've no idea what I've had to put up with in the supermarket. I'm, I'm black and blue with all the digs I've had in the ribs from elbows. <laughs> Mum, I don't see what all the fuss is about. It's nothing that unusual. Half the human race have got them. <laughs> Maybe half the human race do have them, Ashley, but they keep them to themselves. <laughs> I mean... There are private parts and there are public places and you do not hang one up in the other. <laughs> it's just making an exhibition of yourself. But it was an exhibition, Lily. <laughs> Mum, when I was small, you were quite happy to let me wander around Brighton Beach doing my sprinkler impressions. That was all right. <laughs> that was totally different, Ashley. You had a bucket and speed then. <laughs> feared the worst. Drinks and drugs and rock and roll. But never did I think a son of mine would turn into a nudist and expose his indecencies. I thought it was just a bit of harmless fun, really. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, you can see the family resemblance, can't you? <laughs> Not to my side of the family. Oh, I think it's a good picture. Oh. I admit, I didn't expect to see it hanging up in an exhibition, but I don't see it's anything to be ashamed of. No. Oh, we'll be tarred with this. We'll have to live with the stigma for the rest of our lives. Mum, can't you just be proud? Elaine won a prize, you know. It got a special mention. I know it did. It's been getting special mentions. <laughs> and the judges gave it a rosette. Yes, and I saw where they stuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking of, Ashley? Posing like a playboy bunny. <laughs> and climbing all cheeks. And to put your name to it, Ashley on the sofa. 
Well, you might as well have added your address and telephone number. You'd better be going then. No, not yet, Colin. <laughs> the neighbours will still be able to see us. We'd better wait until it's dark. <laughs> Here he is, then, the page three boy. <laughs> Mr. Centerfold, the man with the staples up his middle. <laughs> Good morning, Gordon. Fame at last, then, eh, Ashley? You've heard, then, have you? Yeah, yeah. I heard, yeah. Funny place to have a birthmark. <laughs> you saw it as well? Yeah, we thought we'd go along, support Lane, me and Karen. Karen? You didn't take Karen along to see it? I couldn't keep her away, mate. Oh, no. I'll never be able to face her again. I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my life with a paper bag over my head. Going by that portrait, Ashley, it's not your head you want to put the bag over. <laughs> oh, no, seriously, Gordon, it's no joke. No one from management's seen it, have they? This could affect my career. Well, you can always take up a new one, doing hen parties at all the clubs. <laughs> and it was just you and Karen that went, yes? Oh, yeah, 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 just me and Karen. And the lads from the rugby team. <laughs> Sandra and the girls from the typing pool, the tea ladies, cleaners. In fact, I don't think there was an empty seat on the coach. <laughs> the typing pool girls, the rugby team. Yeah, oh, we did have a laugh. <laughs> what do you mean, laugh? It's not that funny. Well, you must admit, Ashley, it's not often you see one that shape. <laughs> I can't help my birthmark. Who's talking about your birthmark? <laughs> Just you wait, Gordon. One day, something like this is going to happen to you. Well, don't get shirty with me, mate. When the lads got a bit sarky, it was me who spoke up on your behalf. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I said, don't you worry about Ashley, I said. He can stick up for himself. <laughs> with friends like you, Gordon. Good picture, though. Elaine's talented. Mm. Think she'd like to do one of me? No, I did not. Oh, no. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Sandra. Saw your picture? God, it is amazing how different someone looks, isn't it? I had no idea you, uh, well, kept yourself so fit. Yeah, well, you know, so natural-born athlete. Anyway, uh, there's your typing, Ashley. Oh. No, all the girls in the typing pool, well, we had a bit of a giggle, but I mean, really, I bet it took a lot of nerve, didn't it? Either that or a lot of lager. <laughs> Yeah, we were all quite favourably impressed. We admired your, uh, pluck. Well, uh... <laughs> Thanks a lot. I mean, with some people it's all packaging, isn't it? In fact, look, why don't I write down my number for you and, uh, you can give me a ring sometime, OK? Oh, right. Um, yes, thanks. So, uh, well, I'll pop that in the top pocket, then. <laughs> Well, I'll see you around then, Sandra. Bye. <laughs> Are you talking, Gordon? Well, <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Don't overdo the old world courtesy. Well, there you go, Gordon. <laughs> some of us have got it, and some of us haven't. We've all got it, mate. We just stand all hang it on the wall of the technical college. <laughs> now, where shall I put it? Try the dustbin. Perhaps I'll put it in the loo. Well, thanks very much. Oh, sorry, Ashley. I meant the dark room. Well, that'll come in handy. When I have to shave, I won't need a mirror. <laughs> You're not still sulking, are you? Well, you'd be sulking if you were me. Laughing stock, I am. Ashley, how can you be a laughing stock? You've collected 28 telephone numbers. <laughs> you just better not ring any of them, that's all. I know I've collected 28 telephone numbers, but six of them were from blokes. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me exhibit the picture. You're a brick. Am I? I'm going to chuck myself through a window, then. Not many would have done it. It shows great strength of character being prepared to face scorn and ridicule, all for my sake. Oh, my hero. Oh, mm, well. When you're a famous painter, I'll be a famous model. I'll be up there with Rodin's Thinker. Yeah. Ashley's Tinkler. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Oh, it was good of you, though, thanks. Nah, yeah, that's all right. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Good. I'll get the camera set up, then. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, if you could 
could just sort of sprawl on the sofa, you know, and, and sort of pout a bit, like this, you know. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's for our photography project, The Female Nude. Because we're doing a project called The Female of the Species. Oh, are you? Yeah. So, oh, perhaps you could wear those nylons, because I've decided to call mine Sex Kitten. <laughs> oh, and you better undo that button as well. Yeah. I mean, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, yes, actually, it's perfectly all right. If you can get somebody to model for you. What, do you mean you won't do it? I most certainly will not. Well, hang on, hang on. I dropped my socks for you, didn't I? Well, that was different. That was for art. So what's my photography, then? By the sound of it, soft porn. It is not. Ashley, I've seen your photography class coming out of the college. They haven't got a clean raincoat between them. <laughs> They're just there to ogle women. Some of them don't even have cameras. I admit, not all of them have cameras as yet. But most of them are genuine enthusiasts. Yeah, and I know what they're enthusiastic about. <laughs> well, what about the women in your art class, then, eh? Feigning an interest in painting so as they can have a look at a man with no clothes on. Oh, that's nonsense. Women don't behave like that. Do you want to bet? You want to hear some of the propositions I've had lately? Ashley, those men don't take nude photographs. They take nudie photographs which degrade and exploit women. Well, what about degrading and exploiting men? That's all right, is it? What about me hanging up on that gallery wall with all those women standing around with magnifying glasses? Actually, it's not the same, and you know it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. All right, fine. I shall take my tripod elsewhere. <laughs> all right, listen. There are only too many willing applicants in here who would jump at the chance to say, watch the birdie. Look, I have got a telephone here, and I'm not afraid to use it. Go ahead, then. All right, fine. Right. We'll see you then. Right. Right. With knobs on. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see it then? No, thank you. God, what a body. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't get many of those in a lift. <laughs> Mind you, she was very cooperative. Certainly didn't have to ask twice. Actually, I didn't have to ask at all. <laughs> oh, there's no denying it. She is all female. You read that paper quickly. <laughs> Don't you want to know who I got the pose for me? No, I haven't the slightest interest. Female of the species, all right. Not a stitch on, either. Just as nature intended. Ashley, I'm trying to read. Are you sure you don't want to have a look? Just a peek. No, thank you. It was voted best in the class. They reckoned it was one of the best female nude studies they'd seen. Oh, and they'd all be experts, wouldn't they? I think I might hang it on the wall. Elaine. Ashley, is that who you got to pose for you? Yeah. Where did you meet her? London Zoo. Gorilla Hunt. <laughs> I'm gonna plant you in a garden one day, Ashley Phillips. You like me, really? <laughs> And the series continues next Thursday night at 7.30. Bodie and Doyle find themselves protecting the family of the notorious thief next on Plus in The Professionals.